Hey now! Hello, hello, hello everyone! Welcome to the stream! And we're gonna be doing some DQ11. Alright. Let's get my ducks in a row. Ba bum 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 bum. There we go. That's published. All right, let's do Discord now. Here we are. Gotta do social media stuff now. Streamlabs is a little different. <laughs> I'm just noticing that they move some things around here. All right, guys, I'll be right back. I'm going to use the bathroom real quick. I'm going to grab a water. I also have some sauce simmering on the stove. I'm going to check on that. I'll be right back.
Okay, we are back. And by we, I mean me. Hey, Moogle, how's it going, man? A little bit of a slow start today, huh? Okay. Oof, man. All right. Bum, 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 bum. Ah, oh, come back to this churchy music. <laughs> bop, 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 bop. Sorry, I was gone so long. I, I had to, I had to go to the bathroom, and I also, oh, I didn't grab me a water. Shit. All right, I'll be right back. I gotta grab me a water. I forgot to, because I went into the kitchen where we keep the freaking bottled water, and I didn't grab one because I was so. I was so keyed up on checking on my sauce, and then I made a few adjustments. I'll be right back. Without the bottled water. Shit. Alright. Okay. Alright. Can't believe this song's still playing. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna get this going because I'm I've been looking forward to this and I'm ready to do it. I don't have sound. There's the sound. Okay, um, I need to scroll the chat down a bit, though, so I can be able to see it, so let me... <laughs> oh, Snoop? <laughs> oh, Snoop what? Uh, oof, oof, oof! All right. As much as I love the intro, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta get into. It. Oh, I just noticed that the title. Wait, hold on. Let me go back. I've never noticed that before. That the title screen changes based on where you are in the game. That's cool. Warriors rest in. Okay, so that was that in that I just kind of like found. Alright, previously on Dragon Quest XI, the ongoing search for the rainbow leads our heroes to glorious Gondolia where they go to the docks to try to get Sylvando's ship. Unfortunately, they're off limits while the Senior Universo Contest is on only Doja Rotondo, the organizer of the event, can give the go-ahead for anyone to enter. Having heard this, Eric and Eleven decide to seek him out, but when they find him, they are suspiciously swiftly rebuffed. They return to their friends to learn that the Doja's son has been struck down by a terrible curse. They soon find a cure, and while Sylvando and the girls are delivering it, Eric and Eleven try to beg a spot for the contest. There they find themselves face to face with Jasper, general of the Heliodorian army. The rest of the party arrive just in time, and with their help, Eleven manages to escape. Unfortunately, Eric isn't so lucky. After a daring rescue mission, Eric is saved, and the party flee to the seas aboard Sylvando's ship, the Salty Stallion. Ladies and gents. But things turn sour when Jasper sends a seriously strong sea monster to try and sink them. Just when it seems all hope is lost, Doja Rotondo appears, scaring off the beast with the fearsome firepower of the Gondolian Armada, and saving those who restored his son's voice. Finally safe, at least for now, our heroes set sail for the open sea to continue their search for the rainbow. Cool. Cool. Oof, oof, oof. So how's it going, Is it really hot where you are? Because it's... A hellish nightmare of heat here. Alright, yeah, 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 yeah. 
All right, so I haven't looked around here much. I literally just came in here and healed. I haven't talked to anybody or anything. I didn't even stay at the end, so let's see. I'm going to Oct Octagonia. My daddy's fighting in the tournament, and I'm not going to cheer him on. Or I'm going to cheer him on. Why would I say not there? Huh? Where's Octagonia? Uh, I think daddy said it was to the north. Munch gobble. Sorta? What do you mean, sorta? I suppose you're wondering why we named this place the Warrior's Rest. Is it because Warrior's Rest here? Can I have one of those sausages? I'll say yes. Well, it's named in honor of Drustan, the Warrior King. He was a great man who fought alongside the Luminary back in the Age of Heroes. He was actually the one who founded the Kingdom of Zvarzdrust, which used to stand just to the north of here. It's all in ruins now, though. Alright. Let's see. I probably should spend a night here. Sort of hot. I don't. I forget. We aren't you like in the Midwest somewhere, Mogul? Like, there's a heat advisory for like the whole fucking country, though. So I guess it doesn't really matter. It's insanely hot, and it's gonna be even worse tomorrow. I'm gonna stay my ass indoors. Luckily, we'll be doing list critics tomorrow. Oh my. Oh hey, guy. Oh, Fernandez Vaz Drust, from whose earth to lips thrust, home of the brave, the just. The purple orb's protection spreads peace in all directions. Come worship its perfection. Gibbs is looking at me crazy. I know, I'm nuts. That's an old song from Svars Drust. They say the purple orb it mentions is still around somewhere. Okay. That's cool, I guess. Uh, uh, uh! Smashy, smashy! Medicine. Smashy, smashy. You had to lower your volume for that? Rude. You should have raised it up. I'm studying the history of Svarzdrust, so I'm keen to take a look at the ruins northwest of here. The problem is I can't get in. There's a red door with a strange symbol on it in the way. According to this book, it's open with something called the Magic Key. Hey, Lord Terra. Uh, Terry, Terry, right. It's Redick Hot in Missouri. And yeah, I, let me, where's my phone? Oh, I don't have, oh, now I'm not going to get it. It's it's like 97 degrees. It's going to be even worse tomorrow. What's that? Where can you find this key? Yeah, how oh, should I know? By the way, welcome to the stream, Terry. You had it on full? You should have, you should have blown your speakers out while I sang that horrible falsetto. <laughs> Sorry, you have to go and look for yourself. I will, maybe I will, and I'll find the fucking thing. Oh, smithing with steel, let's see. So we learn steel broadswords, Soren steels, and steel shields, and steel helmets, and full plate armor. Cool. Oh, this is the outside. Oh, hey, lady. My husband and I came away on holiday together, but the minute we get here, he goes off on his own. What a bastard. Makes me wonder why he married me in the first place. That's real. I should have put my foot down and insisted we go to Octagonia to see the Masked Martial Arts Tournament. I was half hoping I'd get to put a mask on and give him a beating myself. I'll be rooting for you, lady. You give him the old what for. Alright. Let's look around. Oh, this guy's got a quest. Did you know, Traveler, that the fields were once part of a great kingdom? Zvarzdrus, they called it. In its heyday, its grandeur equaled that of Heliodor or Galopolis. Not until one night when an enormous swarm of monsters raised the entire nation to the ground. Oof. Big mood. Now all that remains are ruins. I like ruins, though. They're fun. Its former glory is but a distant memory. But some remnants yet linger. The souls of those who were slain on that fateful night are still bound to this place by the weight of their grief. Octagonia is the place for MMA. <laughs> Sounds like it, right? Twisted by their fury at the monsters who destroyed their homeland and by the frustration of being unable to protect it, they have become monsters themselves. Dead knots. When night falls, they rise from their graves and prowl the ruins of Zvarzdrust. To atone for their failure and to assuage their wrath, they attack any who encounter, uh, whom they encounter on sight. Traveler, those fiends were once my kinfolk. I cannot bear to see them suffer so. Will you help to end their tournament, torment <laughs> and allow them to rest in peace at last? So what do I gotta do? I gotta just kill a bunch of them? Deliver some nearly... Okay. Thank you, my friend. My researches into the art of exorcism have led me to believe that my former countrymen will only find peace if they are purified by means of the pet power known as care prayer. Oh. Your blonde-haired companion is skilled in the art of curative magic, is she not? Perhaps she might know something in this ability. I would bid you to explore the ruins of Zvarzdrust at night and meet with the dead knots. Say a care prayer for their eternal souls before defeating them, and they will surely find peace at last. 
I mean, it is an octagon, right? Okay, so let me see if I even have that pet power. Uh, how do I look at that? Tactics, travelers. No. There's a way to look at your pet powers. It might be in the um, status. Is it, it sounds like Serena has it, but... Abilities, skills, pet powers. So Care Prayer is between her and Eleven. Okay, so what I'm gonna... Eleven's actually pepped right now. I have to put her in the party. Um, but I would have to get her pepped and him at the same time. So you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna put her in the party. We'll take we'll take Silvando out briefly. And if I get her pepped, I'll just take her out of the party. I don't know. Because you stay pepped if you're not Oh look, there's one of those things. Pop! Alright. Svaras Drus was founded by Drustan, the warrior king. It's also where Sir Hendrik was born. That's quite a pedigree, eh? Which makes it even sadder that those monsters came and destroyed it. Alright, so that that confirms that there are crossbow targets around here. Hold on, I gotta... I, I got maps for that. Let's see. Alright, that is the first one available. Alright, cool. Sure, it makes it sad. What, Locust? I I don't get it. <laughs> what makes what sad? I don't understand. Hey, what's up? Welcome to the Warriors Rest, where wanderers from all over Erdrea stop to share a tale or two while they take a break from their travels. And it's well-earned break for most. After all, the old kingdom of Zvarsdrust is enormous. Doggo! Oh, he's a good boy. Alright. Can I get in this building? Yeah, there's a big-ass door here. Oh, I can't get in it. Alright, never mind. There's a door, but I can't... Oh, fuck. Oh, this is the guy. He's still... As a Mark's menu... Okay, so there's three more targets. Alright. So now I know where the guy is, because he's usually at a camp, but this is very much not a camp. This is an inn. Alright, let me try and... Ooh. No! Not what I was... Hey! I want to get into battles, because I want to try and get... Um, try and get Serena pepped. Hocus Chimeras. Great Saber Cat and Cyclone. Alright. How's it going, though, Locust? I don't know what's sad, but... How's it gone? Oh, she has a whip, right? Yeah. Hey, you're punching a little girl. It's rude. Ow, that was my dick. Oh god, they know mid heal. All right, well that's a high priority target then. If he knows mid heal. Yeet! Get out of here, you bother me. Group of enemies defeat. I think I saw a crystal in the distance. Eric's level 21, nice. All right, yeah, let's see, because he's got a bunch, he's got 16. Let's see, can't do that yet. Oh, I can unlock it, okay. Starburst throw. Okay. Uh, it costs 18. That rain down sparkling stars on all enemies. Brutal attack with it. I want to get two meringue. Yeet. I thought I saw a crystal in the background somewhere. During the battle. I may have been wrong. All right, well, I'm gonna head in this direction because there's another target. Oh, I can see it from here, damn. Oh, there's the crystal. Yeah, gotcha, bitch. 
All right, this is the same shit I just fought. At least now I know that the high go for the Hocus Chimeras because they can heal. Oh, everybody but Serena is pepped up. I really got to take this guy out, though. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, damn. That looked bad. The rain is having a weird effect on the, um... The wheat and whatnot. It almost looks like dithered. Alright, yeah, I do see a... Let me get this first, though. I have to get it from the front, don't I? Bop! See what we got here. All right, silver ore, silver ore, and iron ore. All right, hold on one second, because I uh, I need to scroll the map. Oh, okay. Well, there's one more that I may have missed, which is back this way. Well, actually, no. I don't think I missed it because you know what? He said there were three left. Yeah, I didn't miss it. And now there's two left. Okay. Sorry about that. Mm -mm. Wonder what those green things on the map are. But I wanna I wanna get these targets. Uh, all right. There's gonna be one on that building somewhere or near the building. I think. I mean, I think it's going to be back here, actually. Let's see, an item. So, hey, Locust, you ever going to explain what you meant? Hey, we got it. Bop! I want to get that item, too. By sure it makes it sad. And we got a coagulant. All right. Bop, 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 bop. Bop, bop, bop. And there's one more over here, which the friggin' Scarecrow is holding. That's funny. Nope, not that guy. Oh, I guess I gotta fight him. Oh, he's on top of me. He's on my ass. Ah, shit. I didn't get to hit him first. All right. So we got Grim, Griffins, and Grublins. Well, a Grublin. You are talking to the masked man, he said it was sad that the monsters came to destroy- Oh, okay, because you gotta remember, there's a little bit of stream latency, so, like, I don't necessarily- If you make a reference that's, like, kind of timely, I'm, I'm already, like, past that. Let's, right. uh, heal Veronica, she's getting beat up a lot. Ow, ow, quit it. Oh, he's- Oh, that's right, these guys get all pissed off and keep powering up. I'm gonna take him out now. Oof. Should I think of your ass? Alright, he's unpepped. Ah! Oh, rude. Got his bitch ass. And what I get? A twist, twisted talons. Okay, that's fine. Oh, hey! Nefros, you didn't have a nightmare in your dream, just a great one. So thank you for the bits, Locust. All right, let me go back to talk to the guy regarding the uh, payment for killing those targets. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -da ba ba Thank you so much for the biddies. Hey, the sun's coming out. Here comes the sun. Do 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 do. Where is the dude? Oh, he's over here. Okay. Oh, I don't. I don't think I went down the well either. I should do that. Impressive. Most impressive. Oh wait, wait. This guy's like Yoda, right? Not one single target escaped the pinpoint accuracy of your bow. Take this prize. Earned it, you have. It's four seeds of agility. To have destroyed each and every target. Truly, a master marksman you must be. 
To the Master in Galopolis, I will report your success. Without delay, inform him I will. And I got Archer in the Rye. Let's see if there's... Wait, let me use those seeds. Okay. Alright. There we go. Sweet. Well, I'm glad you're, 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 uh, you either had a good dream or no dream, you know? Alright. By the way, I might take a few breaks here and there, just very brief breaks from streaming, just to check on... I, I got a modern RSO simmering, and I want to check on it every once in a while. So just to let you guys know. Gold ore? Okay. Nothing over here, huh? All right, well, I got something down here. That's That makes it worth it. Climbing the rope in gym class. All right. <laughs> I wonder if anybody's actually done that. Like, is that like a legit thing? All right, let me check, check out these buildings and shit that I'm seeing. Oh, now it's raining again. It's only not raining. Oh, I can't go in that. It's only not raining by the fucking inn. Wait, if I go back there, will it immediately stop raining? Is that what it is? Is it like in a different biome? Oh my god, it so is. The, the warrior's rest in is in a different biome. Square Enix, what are you even doing? Alright. Let me look at the map here. Um, That's where the ruins are. What are those green things on the map, I wonder? We'll check those out in a second. Oh god. Yeah! It sucks because the uh, the sword and the crossbow are the same buttons, so sometimes you get the one you don't want. Oh, Little red wheelbarrow catcher in the rye was banned, yet considered re required reading for your lit. How is it banned and required? That doesn't make a lot of sense, now does it? And why would they ban it? I never understood, like, honestly, like, for me... Like, the South Park episode kind of got it right, in the sense that, like, I, I don't get it. Like, I don't get what's so controversial about the Catcher in the Rye, and wow. Oh, she's Pep, but now Eleven isn't. But that's okay, so what I'll do is I'll just take her out of the party, because she needs she needs Eleven to do it. I'll take her out of the party, and she'll, she'll keep her Pep power, and once Eleven is Pepped, I'll do that quest. Communism, symbolism, and ideologies. I, yeah. First off, that's like a weak, like it's a, it's a really weak link for me. And secondly, I'm sure they had you read things like 1984, which were way more communist. So to me, it's like, I don't know. That's actually though, to be honest, Lakaron, that's the most intelligent answer I've gotten because most people say, oh, well, it has dirty language in it. And like, it, it really doesn't. All right, so let me change the lineup again. We'll take her out. Because they'll stay pepped in the standby. So I just got to get 11 repepped. I want to see what those green things are that I saw on the map. They were up in this direction. Oh, there's like a guy here. What a total waste of time. I came to Svazdrost because I heard there was some kind of legendary treasure hidden in the ruins. They didn't care about 19 1984, not 1982. That was on your list too. I mean, that one's like pretty, pretty pro-communism. Well, I've turned over every piece of rubble in the place and there's nothing here. Not a sausage. That's why I've decided to call it quits and head over to Octagonia for the mass martial arts tournament. Well, you already got the mask. I, I, knew, I knew what you meant, yeah. <laughs> the prizes this year are meant to be incredible. All right, that's cool. What does this say? Runes of Dendrazil, Octagonia, via Dendrazil. All right. All right. Mainly, I just want to see what these are. Oh, they're like... Oh, what the fuck? They're like dungeons? All right. I'm not getting through that, am I? Because that's a red door. All right. Interesting. Okay. Because I'm like, I'm seeing the... the so those are like entrances to this Varsdrust Runes. Well, there's another one over here. Ooh, there's an item here. Oh, God, that's poison. All right, I got the royal soil. All right, let's see what we have here. 
Oh, this one's got like a magic seal on it or some shit. What's up? Yeah, that ain't, that ain't opening. All right. Interesting. Oh, er. I'll have to keep both of those places in mind. Hmm. Oh, God. I don't want to step in the poison. I also got, I, I gotta get 11 papped and then come here at night to fight those guys. So, what I'm thinking is... Let me first work on him getting papped. Slaughterhouse 5 gets banned often for the same reason. I don't know what Slaughterhouse 5 is. It sounds like a, like a, like a horror movie. Slaughterhouse 5, even more bloody oh, than shit. Slaughterhouse 4. So I'm just gonna right now fight battles until uh, 11 regains pep. It is kind of random though, unfortunately. Oh, Sylvando's pepped. Oh my god, the critical damage! Damn, Sylvando! You a nasty bitch! Damn, bit! Holy fucking shit! We did it, darlings. I kind of want to see what's over to the uh, to the to the west there. Like according to the game, you'd have to go through Dundrasil to get to Octagonia. What? Oh, it's a golem! They expected us to read 135 books over nine months, including three months of summer vacation. Man, fuck that shit! I like reading books and all, but that's some fucking shit. All right, we're, he's stone grim golem. Not even a, a regular golem, but a grim golem. Oh, grim griffin! It is a stone golem. I was mixing up the two. All right, now it's just big fucko here. God, his defense is high. Oh boy, here we go. All right. Um. That did not do anything. Alright, let's try, um, Kassap. Lowers defense a bit. Oh my god, it didn't even work. Alright, I'll just try spells. That's a lot of books, though. Oh, okay, that's some good damage. Ow. Quit it. I can also pop- he's not got much health left, but I'm gonna pop Rubble Rouser on him. Uh, let me heal Veronica. Crack kills! Quick, use the whistle to put it to sleep. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately that only goes for the one golem in the one Dragon Quest game, but yeah. Uh, oh god, there's another one! All right, I got a free free uh, round here. No, no. Now he was just there, up in my shit, dude. Crack kills. Hey, welcome, Chris. By the way. They look like Stone Man from Mega Man. Yeah, kinda. I mean, they're obviously older than that, but yeah, it's it's similar. This guy's almost dead. And he's done. Bop, boop, beep. Great death animation where it just falls into rubble like that. Alright. I'm just trying to get a pep here, but I want to see what's over in this direction, actually. Oh, there's one of those guys there. That usually means there's something hidden nearby. But it could just be that there's a dungeon here and that I found an item found in the poison. That might have been what it is. Alright. There's a lot of poison here. Oh, there's a treasure chest. A purple eye. Interesting. They were talking about a purple orb, but... 
Is that oh god. Is that just a regular ass item or what? Precious stone that projects a powerful purple aura. I wonder if it would get me past that magic seal that I found in Oh, there's another item over there. Also in the poison. Alright. Alright. Well, let me go see if that purple orb reacts to the door in any way. Apparently not. Okay, I didn't think so, but I had to check. Because the, the, the bard at the end was singing about a purple orb. Alright. Oh. Alright, I do want to... Trees! I do want to see what's over in this direction. More grim griffins. Alright. Narg! There we go. That was easy. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. That's real, Veronica. Yo! Oh, I really do not like those freaking cyclone dudes, whatever they're fucking called. Uh, cyclowns. They really are clowns. Bunch of bitches. Get out of here. I think I saw his dick. Alright, what I get? Twisted Talons, that's fine. Alright. This is interesting. Oh, there is a treasure chest there. Money! Alright. Hello, money. Where does this lead? Oh, it says Road to Dundrazil. But I thought the other road went to Dundrazil. They both go there? This one doesn't say anything on the map, though. But I can't get any further. Maybe you can only come back this way. Alright, well, I got a treasure chest, so that's that's worth something. It's worth exactly 1500 Still trying to get 11 pep so I can do that quest. I wonder if the land around here, Aruns, is cursed or something that it's always raining. Whenever I leave the vicinity, like even go into the Warrior's Rest Inn, it stops raining. And then as soon as you come out of the Warrior's Rest Inn, it starts raining again. I'm trying to remember last week if it was raining when I got here, but I, I don't remember, so I don't know. And don't come back. You heard the lady. Twisted Tal- I keep getting a lot of Twisted Talons. What sucks is there's no campsite for me to do any, like, crafting or anything. Well, I'll just keep exploring fighting enemies and items and shit until Eleven gets pepped, and then I kind of know what I want to do. I'm guessing I'm going to have to go to Dundrazil, because there's really no other way to go. Alright, two more of these assholes. Holy shit! Veronica! It's a beast with that whip. Damn, bitch. Damn. Getting nasty. And Serena's level 21. Alright, cool. Uh, let's see. I could, will that break now? Yeah, I thought so. Alright. Oh, it's dual welding. It allows a weapon to be equipped in left hand as well as the right. I can actually get that now, but let me see. All matter uh, and snap, crackle, poof. Yeah, I'll just get this. Two weapons at once as long as they're the same type. Okay, so she could literally wield two staves then? Wait, hold on a second. Let me see what you typed, because it's, it's long and I... Oh! Yeah. Twisted Talons. They told you it was a warning against communism? As Oh. I don't know. In a way, it kind of... It, I, it, it's sort of both, to be honest, I think, personally. But then again, I... I take away different things than you might, you know? I think that, honestly, uh, a lot of these things are supposed to be open to interpretation as well. Oh, alright, the guy's got a mean little attack there. Shit. Oh, right, I was gonna see about equipping Veronica with the thing. Because I'm sure I have another sta a staff somewhere, because she, if she could weld two staves... 
That might actually make her viable in battle, but let me see. Uh, equipment. Because she's wearing the silver platter, but maybe I would want to... Well, she has her... Nah, pixie pull. Well, put that on there. Might be interesting. She doesn't have good defense anyway. I kind of want to explore up here a little bit more, too. I came up here just to break a target, but I didn't look around too much. Alright. Alright, so those guys are pretty high-priority targets, the uh, Grublins, because of the way they power up when you hit them. Well, it's more like when you when you kill their... When you kill one, the others power up. Ooh, somehow you missed Veronica completely on that. I'm not complaining. Whip it good. Oh, that was not... Oh, he ran. He dipped. He dipped the fuck out. Another one bites the dust. Yeah, well, school, school's a lot about indoctrination, I think. What they're indoctrinating you into is, I think... Less dramatic than books like 1984 want to make it um, make it seem, but it it is it is basically a form of indoctrination. All right, he's taken care of. Whip it! Oh, there is something up here. There's a tree I can bash. Ah, let's see what we got. Coagulant. Narspicious. And butterfly wing. Hot take! Alan Moore writes fucked up reprehensible shit like Lost Girls because they're part of a spell he's trying to cast to make Grant Morrison impotent. I don't know if that's a hot take. I think, I think if you said that on Twitter and tagged Alan Moore, if he had Twitter, which he probably doesn't, he'd probably be like, You have discovered the source of my power. For this, you will pay. Lost Girls was well written, but it really, it really was a hot mess of just reprehensible shit. You know, like, like honestly, he had like some good ideas there, but it it went so in the worst possible directions, and you can tell that he was enjoying making the reader uncomfortable. 90% of teachers for school buy school, buy school supplies. That are, yeah, and they don't get good, um... They don't get good uh, salaries, either. AJ's mom was a, uh... A school teacher. It was, I mean, it was her uh, private school, but still, I bet you, you know, I bet you she did that. I bet you would tell you all about They'd tell you all about it. Alright, Veronica's level 22. It's not enough skill points to do anything with, so we'll just hang on to them. Oh, Monster Masher. Cool. We'll do the mash. We'll do the Monster Mash. No, not Edgelord. It, 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 it was kind of Edgelord. Like, maybe Edging Lord would be the right way to say it. <laughs> like, I felt like, like even though it was really well written, he was, he was ticking off boxes, if that makes sense to you. All right, there we go. He's pepped. All right. All right, let me try to end this. It's wrong on a lot of levels, yeah. I mean, it was supposed to be J.O. material, and if that's the case, there's nothing that he doesn't get off to. Writing bingo. Well, porno writing bingo. Like, he's like, okay, we gotta have a guy on girl scene. Now we gotta have a girl on girl scene. Now we gotta have a guy on guy scene. Now we have to have, like, guy on animal scene. Now we gotta have guy on kid scene. Now we gotta have a kid on kid scene. It was that sick, dude. Like, by the end, you're just like, oh, what what, what next? You know? <laughs> like, what, what horrible shit can he come up with now? Uh, how many skill? Oh, he's, that's not enough to do anything with. Oh, no, it's Silvando. Yeah, he has 16. Let's see. Can't break that yet? All right. All right. Uh, sleeper hit or victimizer? 
Still a victimizer. I don't know if anybody burned it, but... Okay, so... It needs to be nighttime for this quest, so... I don't know, it feels like it's been daytime forever, and it's hard to tell when in the day it is because of the fucking rain. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the Warrior's Rest Inn, and I'm gonna take, like, a nap until dusk. And, of course, it's never raining in here. I don't know, there's some weird shit with the biomes in this area. But yeah, it was it was it was twisted, and I you knew that like he, I don't think he was getting off on the material that he was writing. I think he was getting off on shocking people. You know what I mean? All right. So now it's dusk. So I gotta look for these enemies. Uh, what are they called again? They only appear at night. Uh, even though. All right. Dead knots. Okay. All right. I'm gonna. Oh, Gibbs, get off of me, Jesus! What is wrong with you? Just, just relax. Relax. Just because I take my, I take my headphones off and he goes insane. Who's a good boy? All right. I'm going to just check on my sauce. I got sauce simmering on the stove. Some, some, I don't know. So I'm just going to check on that. I'll be right back. He knows I'm going to leave the room and he's going insane already. All right. We're going to try and do this. Because uh, you're going to try and keep me here, aren't you? Come here. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Come here. Who is a good boy? Come here. Come here. Oh, okay. Stop jumping. Stop jumping. Who's a good puppy? Who's a good puppy? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Don't jump on me. Jesus. Oh, you got the bone? Okay, good boy. Good boy with the bone. I just needed to go in the kitchen. Jesus, dog. Good for your librarian, Locust. They had to put the Bible in the fictions? That's a little rough. Like, even for somebody who's definitely an atheist, that's like... Oh, that's kind of rough, you know? Like, damn. I think she might have taken a little... Oh, God. Maybe I should have waited till full night time. Maybe I should have waited for full night time. And actually, yeah, uh, I want to agree with AJ. Robert Crumb is just... He's just terrible. Is it going to be raining? Right. And actually, before I even knew much about Robert Crumb... Um, I saw the documentary about him, which was just called Crumb, and that really just, it, it didn't do him any favors. Mike, I don't even understand Mike Diana, like, I, you bring him up, it's interesting, like, Mike Diana is just, he is supreme edgelord, you know, but his shit isn't even good. Like, I get if you're controversial and edgy and submersive underground comics kind of guy, you know. And then, you know, like, they try to censor you. And, you know, I'm not for a lot of censorship here. I'm, I'm pretty anti-censorship, but... Like, I don't know who was really looking at Mike Dana shit. Like, I think they gave him so much attention by censoring him that he didn't deserve because he's just... He's not a good artist. He's not a good writer. It's just awful. 
Yeah, see, that's the way you gotta do it. You know, like, religious texts shouldn't be in fiction. They shouldn't be in nonfiction. They should be in a place that's called religious text or inspiration or whatever you want to call it. You know, like, trying to categorize... Like, if you put it in the fiction section, you're going to upset the people who believe in that religion. If you put it in the nonfiction setting, you're going to upset the people who who do believe in it. So it's like... Or, or don't believe in it. You know, it, it, it's just, no matter what, you're fucking up. Oh, wait, I shouldn't be getting into battles. I just realized that. Because Eleven might lose his pet. Easy peasy. Robert Crumb, I wouldn't even call him politically right or left. I would just call him an asshole. To be honest with you. He's, he's just a misanthrope. Yeah, I, I should probably just stay away from this area until it's nighttime. The sun's kind of going. To, it takes so long for time to pass. I should instead of going out at dusk, I should have went out at night. Doesn't matter for how much money do I, oh, I got? Plenty of money. Oh, let me go back and sleep till night. Because oh wait, I didn't mean to go over that bridge. This is just stupid. Because I don't, I don't ever want to get into that. Oh, it's kind of wait. Hold on, it's it's almost nighttime. I'll stay out. I don't want to get into the thing where I'm like, I don't like this person because they're politically left-leaning, or I don't like that person because they're politically right-leaning. It's so fucking stupid. Usually when I hate someone, it's because they're a fucking jackass. And Robert Crumb is a fucking jackass. You know, whether you want to say he's politically right or left, I just say he's a jackass. Now, there's because there's jackasses on both sides. There's, there's good people. But there's a lot more jackasses in life than there are good people. There, there, you know, there are just really terrible people everywhere. And I would honestly say that there are more bad people than good people in this world. And that's a shame. What are these things? What are they, like, fucking... Oh, they're enemies? Oh, they're the bite bulbs. They're just sleeping because it's going nighttime. All right. All right, I'm just... I don't want to get into too many battles because I'm trying to... Oh, God, really? They're vegetables! How are they blocking me? Robert Crumb also has, like, a fixation with his daughter that is just way creepy. Uh, yeah, I want to run. Yeah, Robert Crumb's also pretty racist. God, this game is pretty... Look at that, the Yggdrasil in the distance. Ba -ba -ba. I'm just waiting for nighttime to see these dead knots come out. I should have just slept till night instead of dusk. No, leave me alone. <laughs> he is racist, though. There's no surprise there. You can see it in his artwork. What does Trump have to do with anything? <laughs> like, literally, Trump has nothing to... Like, we're talking about, like... Subversive underground comics people, and then you bring up Trump? What does that have to do with anything? Like, yeah, Trump's an asshole, racist piece of shit, but what does that have to do with anything? <laughs> but by the way, like, what I said... Um... About most people... There being more bad people than good people... Is, is proven by the fact that Trump people like Trump get elected. Oh, come on. You know, AJ, when you tell somebody not to look something up, you know that, like, most people are just going to go right to Google and look that shit up. God, it takes so long for time to pass! Fuck it, I'm going back to the inn and sleeping till nighttime. This is stupid. Like, it. Don't talk back to me! But yeah, I, I. I don't have the patience for this right now. Like, I get the whole aesthetic of the underground comics and shit. I get it. I really do. But at the same time, when you start something where your goal is to be subversive. You're starting off almost in bad faith. Because instead of 
having a point and that point is subversive or having a point and your way of going about it is subversive you're just being subversive and there there it's it's like a bad faith thing because you're you're not you don't have a point yeah see now like whether a comic is like, like underground to me denotes that it's not like a like an independent thing it's not a genre it shouldn't be a genre I think it did have its place in the in in the 80s and 90s, but it it certainly doesn't really need to exist now. Is that a dead knot? Wait, no, that's probably a dead knot. Hey, what's up, guy? Oh my god, I'm stupid. I didn't put All Right, that is a dead knot. I didn't put Serena in the group, but I can change her out now. All right. Is there anything I can do to help? All right. Uh, you could attack the Grim Griffin, actually. Because I gotta use this- Hey, Flower, how's it going? I gotta use this specific ability on, um, Care Prayer. Um, yeah. Here we go. Okay, so now that I defeat the Dead Knot, once I defeat it, it should trigger that quest. What the fuck is crust punk? It is hot out. No matter where you live, it's hot. <laughs> it's hot. Unless you're in like Australia, I guess. You defeated a dead knot after blessing it with a care prayer and saved its eternal soul. Return to the priest near the warrior's rest in and tell him the good news. Alright, yeah, let's do that right now, actually. That guy... This guy was just like watching that battle. He's like standing there jerking off. Now he's like going home to clean up. I need to change my pants. Ah, uh, once again, I'm going the wrong way. But what what denotes crust punk? Is that like if you're playing punk music but you haven't showered in a while? Like what? What's what does that mean? Yeah, it's about that hot here, Chris, and it's supposed to be even worse tomorrow. I'm staying indoors, recording stuff with Nufi Vanga, and then doing list critics at night tomorrow. Crust punks are anarchist punks who wear dreadlocks and beg for cash. Oh, so I was right. They just haven't showered in a while. Okay, cool. I was, I was so all you had to say was yes you're correct <laughs> that is exactly what it is the filthy punk asshole stereotype that make a lifestyle out of it all right uh where is the guy he's like back here right yeah there he is hey what's up dude the voices those mournful moans that have echoed through the night air for decades they have finally fallen silent you have done it, Traveler. You have laid my kinfolk to rest as long last. I cannot thank you enough. You're hyped for tomorrow night, Swick. They pee on the side of a building specifically to fight the... That's the thing. You're not sticking it to the man by peeing on a building. <laughs> You're not even sticking it to the building. Oh, I got a robe of serenity. It is not only in Zvarsdorst that tortured souls have been bound to this mortal plane and reborn as monsters. I pray that such souls may one day find peace... And make the journey back to the World Tree's holy heart. The same journey you have so kindly helped the fallen film yeah. my fallen kinfolk to complete. Tomorrow night on stream flower we're having um a fun little uh, we do it monthly. It's a podcast that we do called The List Critics. It's gonna be me, Armageddon Time, T Sparkle ninety nine, and um my friend Noun Beast are all gonna be on it. It's really fun. Okay, so that's a, uh, let me see if that, that robe is good for anybody. Like, can she wear it? You know, it's probably easy to go through items, actually. Alright, let's see. Oh, anybody could wear it. Shit, I'll give it to Eleven. Well, actually, who has the lowest defense? Veronica has the lowest defense. We'll give it to her. She does get hit a lot. Yes, yeah, so I hope you'll be there, uh, Flower. It's 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 a fun thing that we do. It like I said, once a month. All right. So my next goal, now that I've done that quest, is going to be to, because I got a recipe book, so I kind of want to go and um, zoom back to where I can do that. Like here, any campsite really. Before I did that, I really should have checked to see if the Warriors Rest Inn is a zoom site.
Sweet flower. Oh, my thing leveled up too. And I should talk to these people. Heh, so let me guess. You just got this urge to come back here and sniff around in case you missed something? Trust me, I know the feeling. I mean, I used to be a thief. Come on, let's see if we can't bag us some loot. Is this delightful? It's just my kind of place. Not too bright, not too crowded. Ah, I could stay here all day. I don't know what kind of places we'll be visiting, but I hope there'll be plenty more caves like this. Alright, so they're not saying anything relevant to the plot. They're just reacting to the area I'm in, so I'm just going to do this. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Do -do 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 -do. My forge thing leveled up. Alright. How does the forge level up? No, actually, I think it's based on progression, Moogle. Isn't it, though? Isn't MGBA so much better than Visual Boy Advance? Like, the sound is better. It, everything looks better. It sounds better. I, it's just crazy the way that is. Alright, let's see. Uh, silver Rapier and Steel Broadsword. Hmm. Um. Is, th is the Steel Broadsword one-handed or two-handed, I wonder? All right, well, I could do both. I can't do both of them because I don't have enough silver ore. Shit. Uh, I'll do the broadsword. I think it's going to be a one-handed weapon, but we'll see. But yeah, it's, it's based on progression. Ooh, really? Hey, yeet. Alright, that's good enough. Success! Steel broadsword plus two. Alright. All right, let me see if I can, let's see if I want to equip that. I mean, it doesn't say to, to uh, if my gold platter gets de-equipped, well, no. It did, all right, it is a one-handed sword. That's what I thought. Like, broadswords are usually, in in most games, a broadsword would be considered a two-handed weapon. But in Dragon Quest, not so much. Last night you were so tired and you were waiting for the raid to stay a bit. Yeah, I kind of I kind of left not too long after. I talked to Amethyst for a while and then I wanted to take a shower and stuff. I didn't want to stick around. All right, let's see what else I can make. Great. I don't want... Okay, that's right. They have their own category. Knives. Boomerang. Soren Steel. Oh my god, I so want to make that. I would need a silver ore and two big bones. Now, I know where I can possibly get silver ore, but big bone I'm unsure of. Let me uh, like Google that real quick. And just make sure that we put Dragon Quest in Big Bone, because if I just Google Big Bone, I might get something different. Let's see. Big Bones. Big Bad Gem. Let's see. Oh, okay, so when you go near Octagonia, there's skeletons that can drop them. And the, the camp shop in Costa Valor. Alright. I kind of want to check the Costa Valor thing. You had to shit out the Hulk? That sounds rough. Alright, so let me, let me see what else. We got wands, nah, uh oh, oh, oh. Heavy want now. Spears. Nobody uses spears, right? Yeah. Whips. Okay, we're good. Let me check my armor. Such stuff. Okay. Great shit. Steel shield. Oh, I don't have enough silver ore for it. Alright, let me go ahead and... I know one place where I can possibly get... The, uh, st uh, silver. But... Oh my god, it's... Yeah, the thing's not a zoom point, is it? Fark. Well, I see a blue thing there. Oh, wait, is... Oh, okay, there we go. I was gonna say, wait a minute. 
Bloop. Was the Hulk angry, Chris? Hulk, Hulk came out of your ass into the toilet and said, Hulk splash! Yeah, there's an ore deposit here where I got some silver before, so... Bop! Silver. Iron. Silver. Alright, I actually kind of want to move on to Dundrazil because... I feel like I'm not getting a campsite here and I don't want to have to zoom around. He was just splashing the green goo- Ew. <laughs> Come on. That's funny though, Hulk. Splash! He's gonna poop himself inside out. I don't think I fought these guys yet. He's gonna lift straight off the ground. That's gonna be like the Incredible Hulk ripping out the back of his pants. Alright. So, tap devils. They pro- oh, that, right. She does that. For some reason, I thought it was Eric. If I know my Dragon Quest lore, and I do, the tap devils can probably do dances to incapacitate me. Oh, oh, that is cool. The dual welding shit is cool. Disconcerting dance. Ooh, two of them got friggin' confused. That sucks. This might end it, though. And it did. Okay. Oh, splash! Ba 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 ba. Just the fact that there hasn't been a campsite here makes me think it. Oh, look at that! It's Robin Hood. <laughs> put that away. Nobody wants to see that. So what is this guy? Oh, it's just a hood. All right. This guy put googly eyes on his hood. He can't see shit, but he looks fantastic. Look at me! Look at me! Look at me! Yep, it's true. Wonderful. Wonderful. I love how different enemies appear at night. It makes it interesting. Oh, there's another one. What's up, you fucking top of fuck? And he's got a grublin with him. All right. We'll take out the grublin first. Ow! Quit it. Whip it! Whip it! Bop boop. Ooh, missed the second one. Ah, all that shit, and I blocked it. All that fucking lead up, and I blocked it in it. It's always raining here. All right, road to the Dindrizel region. That is Moobs. You'd know all about Moobs, Moog. <laughs> Moobal Master. All right, so this is the Dindrizel region. Let me just see if I have a map for, um... Whatchamacallit, it's the, um... The targets. Gibbs, get off of me. Oh, there it is, all right, okay. Well, there's my maps, but let's see. I think Dundrazil would be near the top, right? Champ Sauvage, Costa Valor, Dundrazil, here we are, okay. Okay, there's a lot of targets in this area. Holy crap. Alright, well first things first. Let me just get this all situated. All right, there's not there's one not too far from here, I think. Oh wait, actually, wait a minute, hold on. Oh, I'm coming in from the top of it. Oh, that's different. Well, there's still one not too far from here. Octagonia is actually really close to here too. All right, but this is all new area, so I like that there's steps here. It's kind of cool. Uh-uh. Oh, there's one of those dudes there. One of those ghost guys. Eventually we'll find out what the fuck they're all about. There should be a target, like, right here-ish. Maybe a little further up ahead, but... Whenever you see these guys, there's always something... Gibbs, get off of me. 
Gibbs, get off of me! Hey, Troop Reindeer, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. I mean, according to the map, it's like right around here-ish. Maybe hanging from the thing? I don't see anything. Can I climb up this shit? No? Okay. Huh. I mean, there's supposed to be a target, like, literally... I mean, more further back. Uh... According to the map, it's, like, basically right here. There it is! Bop! Alright, we got it. Hey, what's up? Nice jar, asshole! Alright, so we got Jargon and Groblins. Alright, we gotta take out those Groblins. Because they get powered up the more enemies you kill that are not them. Greetings, Drip Reindeer! <laughs> Greetings and salutations! Whip it! Ooh, she keeps missing that second attack, which sucks. Oh wait, why do I still have her in the party? I had her in there for a specific reason. You rang, honey? You rang, honey? <laughs> Whip it! Get out of here, you bother me. Score one for the good guys. Nice. And Eric's level 22. He learned peep. Alright, now we don't need that. What'd I get? Yellow eye. It's old yellow eyes again. PC is staying off for now? What does that have to do with anything? Alright. Octagonia is there, but... I want to go for the rest of the targets. Is that a... Drac Mage? Oh, Dracolites, they're called now. Alright. Okay. Oh, you're on Xbox. Okay. Get out of here, you bother me. Oof! Whip it! Whoop, whoop, whoop! Oh. You already tried, Fizzle. Notice I'm not trying to cast any spells, asshole. We did it, darling. He did it, darling. All right. Uh, I guess we're going this way, ish. What is that? I don't. I can't see what it is. Oh, it's just Grublin. He was like laying on the ground or something. Frizzle, frazzle, razzle, me dazzle. I'm pissed! I'm scared. I- The first guy's like, I'm pissed, and the second guy's like, I pissed. Get out of here, you bother me. Frizzle fry, yep. Get out of here. Victory! Victory! Yeah, yeah, they're legit sleeping, that's hilarious. Okay. Uh, uh. I'm not trying to get into every battle right now, but... Runes of Dungeons... Yeah, I want to go this way. I want to see if I can find the rest of the targets. Oh, there's a new enemy. It's one of those warrior rabbit dudes, but a new color of it. Oh, they're going to attack me right away, huh? Rotten Tail! And he's using oomph. Oh, no, that's not oomph. That's like Last Resort or some shit. All right, well, we got to... Definitely attack him. Damn! You really are a rotten tail. I dub thee Peter Rotten Tail. Oh, I'm out of here, man. Oh, he's pepped. And he's pissed. 
That's not a good combination. It's a good thing he already attacked. And good night. Bitch. Alright. Uh, we want the lower road, I think. For now, at least. God, the grass is really insane here. All right. This place is cool, though. Like, I really feel like I'm exploring a new world, not just going across a featureless plain, you know? I was one of those metal hunter guys, and I was one of those bees. I don't know if I would need that, but according to my map, there is a crossbow target right around here-ish. Oh, there's an item here. Flurry Fluff. Part right. Yeah, it is kind of like Skyrim. I found the thing. Bop! We got gotcha. you. All right. Let me just look at the... Let's scroll the map down a little bit. Okay, because there's one, two, three more to get. And one of them's not too far from here. Ooh, he almost got me. All right. So it's a Hork Knight. <laughs> a Hork Knight and a Mushroom Mage. I'm gonna make sure I get rid of that Mushroom Mage quickly. I'd like him to not be able to do anything. How'd you bulky fuck? Die already. There we go. Gunny's going insane. Well, that seems to be it. <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard the barking, but that, that was Mr. Gunny in the other room. I don't know if he was looking out the window barking or what. Alright. It should be one somewhere around this... Oh, I can see it. Bop! I still want to look in there, though. Is there anything... In here? Not really. You heard him? Yeah. I seen him. Alright, so... I need to go down to the Runes of Dundrazil now, which is this way. Ooh, I still want to fight that Metal Hunter guy. Oh wait, that's not a Metal Hunter guy, that's a Knight! I still want to fight him. Alright, here we go. So I got a Knight Errant and a Hork Knight. Hey now! God, these guys are t Holy shit, these guys are tough. This should finish him though. Yeah, an old school knight errant from Dragon Quest One. Yeah, from a distance it looked like it was a metal hunter, but no, that's a legit ass knight. Oh, and there's a, a campsite here. Cool. There's a cow. Let me grab this item though. Silver ore. Oh, I needed that. Oh, there's the guy. Okay, so this is where the guy is. Let me uh, rest here though. I really want to talk to my party members here. I've always been kind of a lone wolf, so I'm not used to hanging out with a big crowd. It makes a nice change, though. Things are definitely livelier now. We just need to make sure Sylv doesn't make things too lively, though. We're still wanted men, remember? So this rainbow is going to glow with all the colors of the rainbow. That sounds like something to look forward to. Oh, by the way, darling, I can't remember if I told you, but there's a big city to the north of Dundrazil. There should be plenty of folks to talk to there. Eleven, please. Would you mind walking a bit slower? I've only got these little kitty legs, remember? I get exhausted trying to keep up with you lot. That's a fair point! Veronica and I come from the mountains, so you don't need to worry about us. We're more than used to walking for hours on end. Yeah, but apparently she's not used to walking as much because she's got little kitty legs. Let me just see if he has anything that I would want to get here. We have an edged boomerang here. Maybe I want to buy that. It's better than the, his current boomerang. Not by a lot, but it's better than his cruiserang. 
I'll equip that. I'll even try to power it up. That's not what I came here for. Get this for Silvando. Cloak of Evasion, huh? Battle Fork. <laughs> Fork you! Yeah, just like those guys, the Jawfuls in uh, Mario RPG. go. Iron Curus, Iron Armor. Oh, I'll get the cure. I, I can't afford it. I can almost afford it. Let me sell something. Alright, that's enough. Because I want to get that for Sylvando. Okay. Uh, I also wanted to look at what he sells here. Alright, that's good. Fuck you. Ah, 10,000 gold coins at once. Biggest spender. That's cool. Alright, there's two things I want to do. One is to rework the boomerang I just bought for Eric. Actually, there's one thing I want to do right now. Um... What I'd like to do is- Don't go- Oh! Get off of me! What is it with you? Every time I take my headphones off, you jump on me! I'm gonna go check on the sauce again. Can you calm down? Okay? I'm just gonna go ch into the kitchen and check on the fucking sauce, alright? You can't- No! Get off of me! You can't jump like that. You can't jump like that. Come here. Come on, you have to be a good boy. Okay, L listen. I'm gonna go into the other room- Listen! I'm gonna go into the other room, and, and now Gunny's going crazy. Stop pulling on me, okay? You have to stop. Your brother's right outside the door now whining because you're acting like a shit. Stop, stop, stop. Here, where's your bone? Where's your bone? Go get your bone. You're looking for it? Okay, find it. See, was that so bad? I wasn't gone that long. Really? Like, it wasn't so bad? I just checked on the sauce. Hey, guys. <clears throat> looks like a piece of fried chicken. I don't... <laughs> it looks like a dick. <laughs> like a deformed dick, but still a dick. Alright, sorry about that. 
My sauce is... Oh, 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 you don't have to announce it. You gotta go to the bathroom, man. My sauce is actually done. I turned off the uh, heat. Alright. And of course, somebody texts me immediately. Let me see if it's anything important. Um, shit. Hold on a second, guys. Get off of me! Jesus! Every time I take my headphones off, you go insane! I just need to look out the window real quick. Get out, get out of the way, dude. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to the window. Get out of the way! Get out of the way! Get off of me! Jesus! Ow! Sorry about that, guys. Every time I move, he goes insane. Oh my god, I'm trying to answer this text now, and... Sorry, guys. <coughs> Shut up! Get off of me! Jesus, dog! You gotta stop it! My god, dog. Alright, yeah, he has been going a little crazy. I don't know what's up with him. Ah. Ooh, that one worked out well. Actually, a cut. Oh my god, really? Ooh, that was a little much. All right. Yeah, that should be good enough, though. Fair warning, guys. Gibbs is going to go crazy again real soon. All right. My mother's been out with my sister and my nephew. So whenever I'm the only one in the house, he doesn't let me out of his sight. Because he thinks that I'm going to leave him in here for like a long time or something. So, um, he knows that I'm the only one here. So every time I have to go to the kitchen, go to the bathroom, anything, he tries to follow me. And he know he's not, he's not stupid. If he hears me say the words like, be right back, he just glared at me. Or if he sees me take off my headphones, he knows that I'm about to walk out and he starts getting like, a little crazy. Um, okay, I can make one of these now for uh, 11. Let's do that. Whoa, that was pretty sweet. Good enough. So Gibbs is just, like I said, he's... He's an erotic mess at times. He's a good dog, he really is. But sometimes he's an erotic mess. Alright, so Steel Shield plus three. That's exactly what I wanted. All right, let me go ahead and uh, see about equipping that. He's the only one that could use it, so... There we go. It's better than a gold platter. You figure a gold platter would not make a good effective shield, but... Pff, video game logic. Let's see if there's any other armor I can do now. Um, yeah, she's no longer using shields. Well, I don't have enough silver ore to do that. All 
right. I can... There's an iron cuirass and iron armor that I can make, but I don't know if... Nobody needs them. The full plate armor would be good, but I would need more silver and a tiny... Two tiny tortoise shells. Alright, so that'll be it for now. Let's just rest. And I'm going to continue my whole plot of finding the targets. There's one near the ruins of Dundrazil, which I'm going to visit right now. I'm not exploring this place like fully right now, I'm just mainly going for the uh, targets and then I'll fully explore them at some other time. Oh, here's Dundrazil. Holy shit, was that a dragon in there? Could I take on a dragon? I don't know if I even should try. What do you guys think? You think I should attempt this? That's a legit-ass green dragon. Let's give it a shot. I'm, I'm going for it. Legit-ass green dragon. I'm gonna pop Rubble Rouser on him. Alright. I'm almost treating him like he's a boss. Alright, the damage is not as bad as I thought it might be. I do have good armor. Alright, he double attacks. Alright. What could go wrong? I can get killed. That's what can go wrong. Well, that didn't help as much as I was hoping, but... I poisoned him! Nice! He's envenom envenomated. Which is similar to, um... Envenomated is, like, toxic in... In, in uh, Pokemon. It's like a worse version of poison. Alright. He's a little... He's already, like, low on health, but... Alright, he's not as tough as I thought he could be. Ah, uh, he probably should've just used the whip. That's what I was worried about, but that wasn't so bad, actually. Alright, I can handle this. This is this is probably gonna do it right here, because uh, Victimizer is... gonna do a lot of damage. Yeah. See, Victimizer does extra damage if they have status, so... There you go. What? There's another one over there, but I'm, I'm, I'm mainly here for the target, so... The target is either in or around this building here. I think it's in the building. There's a well here. Let's check it out. Wait, hold on a second. What did you write there? I... Wait, I told you guys, when I'm playing Dragon Quest, you gotta keep your messages not so long. The world in which we live currently is a dystopian landscape filled with depravity and decadence with no reprieve for the fair. We lack only the science and fiction to make it a best-selling book. Me, when you were in the 10th grade. Okay. What were, what were you, like, from a book report or something? Huh. What is this all about? What, do I come up another well? I'll try it. The music here is so sad. Oh! I'm in a completely different area. Alright, let's not fuck with that right now. It's for your essay on 1984. I thought it might be related to 1984, just based on what you were saying. It's well written for 10th grader, for just that little bit there. Daisy. Alright. So still need to try to find a way in here. Oh, here we go. I don't see a target, but it looks like I can... 
Oof. It almost looks like I should be able to jump up there. Hmm. All your essays in the 10th grade were blank. <laughs> uh. It's like that movie Back to School. What did you think of The Great Gatsby? Uh, it was great! Ah, there we go. What was the purpose of that? Oh, I can just walk out here. Oh, there's a treasure chest here. Okay. Two of them, actually. Oh, no! Not a can of box! Oh, shit! Oh, fuck. And I'm not at full health. God damn it. Holy shit. I was worried about the dragon. This is way worse. Yeah, no, mimics in Dragon Quest games are really dangerous. Uh Damn it, it didn't work. Oh my god, two criticals in a row. And now he's using whack? Oh, he yeah, missed. Alright. Serena, I need you to take a turn. Damn it! I can't run from this guy either. Fuck. Three criticals in a row. Alright. Oh my- Okay, he does nothing but criticals. Are you gonna put her to sleep now? Now the sigil's gone. Oh, finally a non-critical. I mean, he only fucked her up completely. All right. I'm gonna lose this. Fuck. I knew I wasn't really supposed to be here yet, but I don't think I'd run into anything as dangerous as a can of box. Fuck. My only hope is to, um, Cobra Strike into Victimizer, but I probably won't get the chance. I can't poison him, can I? Locked it. And now he's sleeping. That's a full party wipe, I think. Oh, he's pepped! Alright, wait, we're... Yeah, it's a full party wipe. I should... Well, well I want to go back there, and... Because there's a target there, and that's what I was looking for. But at the same time... I kind of want to, um... Last autosave. We'll do that. I kind of want to, uh... See what the other treasure chest is. But yeah, no, um, Dragon Quest has a history of mimics being really insanely dangerous foes. Oh, it autosave when I came up the well. Alright. Ah. Oh. Come on, man. I made the jump before. Let's see what this one is, then. A dragon scale. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, they're they're terrible. 
it's always a major, major issue when you run into kind of boxes. Where is this target? According to the map that I have, for, of the target map, it's in or around this building. I climbed up. There it is. Bop! Alright, let me get the hell out of here. The dragon wasn't so bad, but the mimic, or the kind of box, rather, that's really dangerous. Alright, how many are left? Targets, that is. Oh, there's only one. Okay. Let me make my way over there. Not so bad. Okay. That was fun. Oh, look, an orc. You remember a retro puzzle game about a mimic? Interesting. So an orc and two mushroom mages. All right. Oh, don't do that! I gotta kill those mushrooms. I almost don't mind you hitting me with crackle as long as you aren't healing that guy. Yeah, this is definitely a more dangerous area, but that's fine. That should finish him. More dangerous, more XP, that's true. I mean, I'm supposed to be in here, but I think I was supposed to go to the town first. I wasn't supposed to go to these runes yet. So it's like, you know, I went a little ahead because I just wanted to get all the targets, but... Let me uh, see about getting that other one. At least you can see the enemies. That I mean, that kind of works for this game. Let's see what this is all about. A stump grump. Okay. So I think I fought other ones that were called, like, stump chumps or something. I need to heal. Get out of here. Go stump elsewhere. There's an item there. Let me grab that. Fairy Fluff. That's a new enemy. It's a green version of the Stark Ravens. Oh, and they got orcs with them. Didn't this stump make a YouTube video game YouTube? What? I don't know what you're talking about, man. Raven Lunatics. So the Stark Raven and Raven Lunatics. I don't get the joke, Karen. All I want is bang, bang, bang. Jerk. Stump Grump, Game Grump. I've heard of Game Grumps, but I've never heard of Stump Grump. It's a pretty weak connection there. Accelerate. Okay. Oof. Oh, I got... What did you miss? I got killed by a fucking canna box, but it, it didn't turn out too badly. I got the target I was looking for. I'm going for the one one more target in this area. I'm going for it now. Ow. Jerk. Wasn't that the name of the stump I just killed? Karen, what? Uh, I guess mom's some. I don't know what you're talking about. It's a stump grump, but I don't get the connect. It's, it's not a good connection between stump gump and game grump. Gibbs, can you please stop it? You missed the fucking toilet. There you go. Clean that shit up. No, no, I got I got completely wiped by the canna box. I was not prepared for canna box. It was rough. All right, so cross this bridge. There's a church at. Hey, what are you doing? Why do you always fun like you go crazy when people come home and you get stop jumping on me and you start tearing paper up? I don't know where you even get paper. 
Alright, targets to the south. And there's also a church nearby. Oh, I see it. Bop! Alright, that's the last target. Let me go check out this church. Yeah, cannon boxes are always a, a problem in Dragon Quest games. Yield cabin here. Oh, a doe, a deer, a female deer. Can you chill out, Gibbs? Alright. This is listed on the map as a church. There's nobody here. That's weird. Maybe there's a priest or something outside? Somewhere? Yeah, it's a really good thing that highlights. Oh, there's a statue there. And a treasure chest. Okay. With a mini medal! A miniature medallion! A minimalistic medallionic, medallionic artisanal piece. I can never say it right. Bronze medal is for 10 mini medals. Okay, that's cool. I haven't found where I'm supposed to turn those in yet. No, I'd say there's a statue. It's an abandoned place that has a statue. I should probably head to Octagonia now. Alright, so that's all the way up there. You're not weary of all treasure chests? <laughs> yup. Mm -mm 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 -mm. This guy's getting in my way anyway, so bop! Alright, so it's two stump chumps and two orcs. All I want is bang, bang, bang. Usually, cannon boxes only appear in dungeons, though. That's the thing. Nice. Good damage there. Oh, he got pepped up right before his attack. That's great. All right. They do the tower north of Dharma Temple. What the fuck? Dharma Temple. <laughs> Why do you keep using the phrases from the NES when you know I'm playing the Android version? No, I haven't been to All Trades Abbey yet. And I don't know why you keep doing that with me, with Dragon Quest III. Like, you keep trying to direct me like I don't know how to play the game. Uh, no. Like, even when I'm not playing Dragon Quest III, you're trying to direct me on it. We'll do this. It's better damage than bang. Ah, you missed. Whip it. Jesus, Salvando, get up. Now would be a good time to cast Bang. Yeah, she does good damage with that spell. I think it's just 11's wisdom is not very high. And Veronica's level 23. She learned Frizzle. That's cool. Sylvando's level 22. He learned Tingle. Alright, that's not bad to have. And a Medicinal Herb. Alright. Bop, ba -da -bop, ba -da -bop. Yo! Oh god. And a stone golem, huh? Alright. Get out of here. Oof.
This is a good opportunity to do Frizzle. Nice. Blurp. And he's done. Bop, boop, beep. He's Orc Pork, and the other guy's Rubble. Alright, 11's level 23. He learned Sizzle. That's good. Uh, yeah, let's see. That costs 16. That one costs 12. And I only have 11, so... Never mind. We had to make our way over to Octagonia. Well, I can't not fight them another night. They're just fun to fight. Pork, pork. Sounds delicious. Make ravioli out of the bitch. Man, I'm just getting pepped all over this place. Ooh! Orky pork and rubble. Sounds like a cartoon. <laughs> it kind of does. Yeah, she's just so much better with magic than Eleven is. She's also really good with that whip. She's a really good character. Just not much for defense, that's all, because she's like a little girl. Oh, I see something over there. A 70s era Hanna-Barbera cartoon? I feel that's very real. I could call a... Uh, a horse from here, but no. They talk to this guy, Yoda, here. Impressive? Most impressive. Hey, that's Darth Vader's line. Not one single target escaped the pinpoint accuracy of your bow. Take this prize. Earned it, you have. Four seeds of defense. To have destroyed each and every target. Truly a master marksman you must be. To the master, Inglopolis, I would report your success. Without delay, inform him I will. And I got Dundrizzle Deadshot. All right. All right, so he gave me Seat of Defense. Let's use those. Yeah. 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 And yeah. Hey, hey, guy, what's up? Bop! No, oh God, he's got a Grublin with him. You calm down now, Gibbs? Good boy. Get out of here, you bother me. Oh, Eric needs healing. Let me see your train end this quickly, then. Let's heat up. Oh, get fucked. G. F. What'd I get? A bandit blade. Is that a good weapon, I wonder? Probably not. Yeah, it's, it's crap. All right. All right, let's let's get our asses to the uh, the town of Octagonia, where they do MMA. Ba -da -ba -da -ba, ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. Go to the whole Skyrim part. All it's missing is snow. I thought that might be an enemy, but it wasn't letting me target it. What are the orange guys called, I wonder? Let's see. Fandigaus. Fan Fandanga. Fandangao. Okay. Thingies. And a rotten tail hanging out with them. Ooh! That was my face, uh... Good night. We did it, darlings. We did it, darlings. When I passed by those guys before, I thought they might be enemies, but I was in a hurry. All right, so we're going up this way now. Some cool looking statues, all right. Yeah, that whip is really good. Like, it made her more of a physical threat than I expected her to be. 
Oh, oh, I should probably explore around, look for items around this place before I go in the town. Hmm. Look at this. I mean, look at that shit. Doesn't seem to be anything around, but that's okay. Alright. Let's check out Octagonia. New town. It's like... It's like uh, completely closed off. You can't even see the sky. Kind of cool looking, though. God, the cities in this place are so huge, though. In this game, there, rather. Ah, Octagonia. Home of muscular brutes beating the bejesus out of each other. I've always wanted to visit. I bet. Are you in it for the muscular brutes or the bejesus? Oh, great. They're fans of Hendrik, huh? I hate this place already. <laughs> That's real. <laughs> hey there, handsome. Y'all here to take part in the tournament? Why do you sound like you're from Tennessee? You sure ought to. The masked martial arts me is Bioshock. Like yeah. It's, it's uh Rapture in Dragon Quest. What's it say? Show the world what you've got in the greatest fighting Show me your moves. Awesome oh, it's Urdry? I thought it was Urdrea. Urdry. Hmm. It's the first time I've heard it out Today? said out loud. I thought she was going to invite you to a boring old dance or something. I wonder what the masks are for. What's that at the bottom? All bouts to be held in the rooftop arena. I suppose that must be on top of the big building over there. No, 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 no. You don't remember any Southern Bell bunny girls in Bioshock, but sign you up? Maybe they were uh, hiding. MMA stands for Mass Martial Arts. Did you know that? Yep. Oh, oh wait, they're Southern here, right? Fighters put masks on, form into pairs, and beat the bejesus out of each other. It's kind of a tradition here in Octagonia. It's a big part of our culture. One hell of a culture. Welcome to Octagonia, y'all. This is where the world's best fighters come to duke it out. Aw, oh, shucks. I've already given you my spiel, ain't I, honey? So you gonna join in the fight and fun? If you are, you better mosey on over to the registration counter and get your name down. It's right over there under the statue of Sir Hendrick. Sir Hendrick's a dick, though. Hey, you wanna know what I like about the MMA tournament? It's the luck of the draw, man. Your chances of winning all hang on which partner gets picked for you. Even the best fighter can't do much if he winds up paired with the chump. That makes the system so cool. Hopefully he doesn't like the fight show. <laughs> Hopefully not. Alright, I see there's a church there. In there. Huh. It's like multiple levels. Uh, you know what I'm not seeing? Is, um... Weapon shops and shit, but they might be on the lower level. I've heard this place. Wait, I, I've heard the prize for this year's tournament is the best ever. They say the mayor broke the bank to buy it from some traveling merchant. Oh, it's the rainbow. It's got to be. I was hoping to take a look at it myself, but I don't see any chance with all these people around. I'm what you might call an expert on female fighters. I know everything there is to know about all of them. Yeah, I know. I bet you have a deviant art, don't you? I bet I know some of them better than they know themselves. It we found the incel. There's the inn. Open up, fuckers. So it's the bank in. Let me just look around before. You know what? No, I want to heal, so let's do that first, actually. This here inn of ours, favored by some of the world's finest fighters, is the best place to get a taste of the real Octagonia, and you'll want to come back. Are you trying to sell me ass? Because that's what it sounds like. It sounds like you're trying to sell me ass. I ain't buying any. She was trying to sell ass. Guess two. Sleeping in an inn ten times. Alright. I wouldn't think that would need an achievement, but we'll go with it. Let's see. Open up, fuckers! Alright. Oh! Wait, was that one of those ghost guys? Does that mean there's something hidden around here? 
Oh, it's a feathered cap, but the yeah, there's one of those freaking like weird little Pokemon guys right there. I I still don't know what they are. It was they were featured pretty. One of them was featured very prominently in the intro to this game, but all right. I'm gonna wanna like probably uh, save up and stop soon, but I wanna definitely see if I can find like a weapon shop or something. Okay, here we go. There's a weapon shop, an armor shop, an item shop, another inn, and another fucking church. Doggo! Oh, the pet a doggo. Good doggo. Bunny girls look like they would sell you ass. Now, see, they're just handing out leaflets. They're, they're not there. See, see, people people get it wrong. They think if they, they come to Octagon and they want to buy some ass, they go hit up the bunny girls, but the bunny girls are just salespeople. They're just dressed like that to sell you things, not ass, though. If you want to buy ass, you got to go to the inn. There's a cupboard in there. Oh, smashy, smashy. Smashy, smashy. Hey, it's like seven dollars. This place is weird to navigate. It, honestly, this is like freaking a Bioshock city. That's like thirty dollars right there. Look at that. That's a lot to find in a pot. That was somebody's fucking stash. Somebody's gonna get their ass like full whooped because their money's not where it should be. Pumpkins, fuck them. All right. Let's see what's up here. Ba da ba da ba. Hey, lady, what's up? My husband gets a little carried away when it comes to these big events. He already headed out to prepare for the MMA tournament. Guess I won't be seeing him for a while. Yeah, he's at the end by an ass. That's how he prepares. Alright. Let's check out the weapon shop. Yo! Welcome to Weapon Shop. How am I help you? Okay, Steel Broadsword, Black Blade. That's actually better than the sword. Oh, it's a great sword, though. I don't want it then. Alright. Poison Moth Knife, Edge Boomerang, Lolly Stick, Ro <laughs> Rod of Rapidity, mm. Battle Fork, and the Hypno Whip. Mm. I wonder if the Hypno Whip would be better if I powered it up, because it's only two less than the whip she has so i'm thinking let me let me see about buying that pumpkin give me the pizza no i don't want that <laughs> let me like sell something what's wrong with great swords i don't have them trained on great swords i don't want to use great swords oh that's a unique item i won't sell it then I'll sell this rapier though that's enough your Bioshock 4, but it'll never happen. Yeah, I don't know. It might happen. It depends on... Like, they have to find a good developer for it, really. All right, so I want to buy this Hypno Whip and then power it up at the... Um, the thing. The... Um, the whatchamacallit. The camp. Because I think that would be an even better whip. Even though I really like the whip she has now. Let's check out the armor shop. Yo! Anything to look at? or All right, no. Oh, 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 I don't want to buy that. All right, let's see. Stone hard hat. Hmm. I need to sell some stuff and buy some fucking armor. All right, so let me sell... Uh, bronze shield. Turban. Uh, this... I don't need that anymore. Concrete earrings, yeah. Underwear. Under who? Grape sword. <laughs> it would take a long time to eat. Oh, I sh there's two of them there. All right, there's a birchwood boomerang, leather hat, two leather armors, copper sword, wayfair clothes. Oh, there's two of them. Shit. All right, that that gave me a lot of money. Let me. Oh, wrong button. Okay, so stone hard hat for Eric. Let me get one of those. There we go. Feather headband. All right, I want a bunch of those. Wait, actually, wait, hold on. 
Yeah, because that's... That's even better, the malleable mask. Okay, I'll start with the iron helmet, actually. See, I shouldn't have bought that stone hard hat. I should have started from... You know. Alright, iron helmet, Sylvando can use. That's okay. It's no big deal. Alright, now the malleable mask. Now I don't know my... Okay, let me sell some stuff. I need to sell stuff that they're carrying, because they're always, like, full. Sell the gold platter. Uh, alright. Sell that. Shouldn't have bought it to begin with, really. And get rid of the battle whip plus two. And the fizzle retardant blouse. Okay. Turban, leather cape, silver platter, divine dagger plus two, chainmail, scale shield. All right, cool, cool, cool. And you have a dancer's costume and a silver platter. All right, that gave me a bunch of money. All right, so now we'll get one of these for Veronica. We'll get one for Silvando. And now I'm like out of money again. Wait, what? Oh, there it is. Tricky Turban. We're making things happen slowly. Alright, one of these for Serena. I should sell the bunny ears, too. Okay. Alright, and then the other thing we don't need. Cloak of Evasion... All right, so I need a Cloak of Evasion for 11, or Iron Armor for 11, Cloak of Evasion for um, Sylvando. All right, let's see if I can sell more stuff that's in the equipment bag. All right, that's not worth much, but... I guess I'll sell the slime earrings. The agility ring, yeah. Dragon scale. No, we'll keep that. That's unique. That I just bought. We'll sell this. And this. I don't think that gave... It might have given me... Uh, it gave me enough to buy one. I, I I might be able to swing both of them if I sell something. So let me get this Cloak of Evasion for... Oh. No, I meant to give it to Sylvando. Shit. Alright, so we'll just pass it over to him. And I could sell back that Iron Curus. It gives me just enough to buy the other thing. Alright. Oh, no, it doesn't. It's 1800 Shit. For Iron Armor. Uh, I could probably find something to sell. Let's see. I only need, like, 200 monies, you know? Oh, magic water. I can sell that. There we go. Alright, so we're going to buy the iron armor for 11. Which is not the little girl from Stranger Things. Okay, so now let me make my way to the church and save. There's a church down here. I thought I saw one upwards, but whatever. I'll make my way over there. Next time we'll explore this place more thoroughly. Huh. Thing is, I don't know how to get over there. I think here? Uh-huh. This looks right. Okay. Hey, what's up? I mean, this says it's an orphanage, but if I can save here, that's what matters. Why is there a little boy here? They make the or orphans run the fucking church? Uncle Vincent, I make a good priest. I'm practicing hard. All right, let's see if I can remember how this goes. All right. Let's confess. Hey! Hey, Brandon. I'm, I'm, I'm actually just about to end, but stick around for the raid, please. We're just about to end, though. That's why I'm saving the game. There you go. All done. So, you going back to adventure? I see you changed your... Sh your... Sh your, uh... Whatchamacallit? Your, uh, Twitch name to be your actual name instead of Wraith Knight. Which was a Dragon Quest reference! 
Go figure, huh? I was kind of hoping the title screen would update again because I'm no longer in that area. I don't know, it seems to update when it updates. Chuck Norris, super kick guy, man. Chris, the memories on you. All right, so we're going to go ahead and switch over to the raid screen. And, uh, yeah, we're going to do a raid. Uh, if you uh, please stick around for that, it is hugely important. Uh, let's see who we're going to raid today. I know, Gibbsy, I know. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. And uh, join me tomorrow at 8 p.m. It's going to be me, T Sparkle, Noun Beast, and Armageddon Time for the List Critics Podcast live here on Twitch. Of course, if you miss it, it will be up on YouTube like a few days later. But um, if you want to see it live, you got to do it tomorrow uh, at 8 from 8 to 10. So keep an eye out for that. Um, next week's schedule hasn't been made yet, but if you keep an eye on the Discord channel, it will be put up either sometime today or perhaps tomorrow morning, but you know, it's probably going to be pretty similar to this week's, except I might, I might swap things around a little bit, but it'll, it'll be pretty similar. Oh yeah, I did have him play Kaizo Mario and uh, Chess of Cheetah Too Cool for Fool or whatever it was. Uh, looks like we're going to, we're going to raid Amethyst again. I know I raided her last night, but um, I have two options right now, and she's the better option. So we're going to raid uh, Amethyst Corn. She is currently doing Twitch Sings. She's a good friend and a good person, so please give her lots of love and support. If you're a subscriber to my channel, spam that Gibbs emoji and say oof, oof, oof. Spam the honker emoji, say honk, 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 raid, honk, oof, oof, honk, honk, oof. If you're not a subscriber, please consider it because it really does help me out since this is my source of income right now. So, um, yeah, I'm waiting for the ad to finish playing. Remember, list critics tomorrow at 8. Okay, she, yeah, she's she's live. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna raid uh, Amethyst Corn. I'll see you guys over on her channel. I'll see you guys on the Discord, and I'll see you guys tomorrow night. And I'll just see you around in general. Here we go, GI Joe.